welcome back to Try It Tuesday. This week we'll be making these mini yarn pine trees that are really festive and fun. This one looks like it has a little snow on it. So um, if you're able to stop by the library on Tuesday at 4 p.m., you can pick up a kit with all the supplies that you will need to make these. You can actually make two. We'll give you the supplies to make two of them. So in your kit, you're going to find two bundles of green yarn, two bundles of white yarn, two half pieces of cork. So this is just one of the corks we chopped it in half. Uh, two pieces of wire that have been folded in half and a paper clip. This is your tool. And then at home, the only thing you need to supply is a pair of scissors. This is a really easy and fun craft and I hope you have fun making it. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. First thing you're gonna to need to get is your green yarn, one of the bundles, and you're going to lay it across the palm of your hand, pinch it with your thumb, and you're gonna to begin to wrap it around your fingers. I would suggest opening your fingers just slightly and not wrapping too tight because you don't want the yarn to get stuck on your hand. You wanna be able to easily uh, slide the yarn off. Okay, so you're gonna to continue to wrap the entire bundle all across the, down to your fingertips as long as you can, as long as you can keep it on your hand, okay? Keep wrapping. This is gonna be a big fluffy tree. <laughs> all right, so then, once you're done with the green, you can go ahead and grab the white bundle of yarn and do the same thing. Um, I kind of want my treetop to have a little bit more white at the top, so I'm gonna wrap a little bit more at the top, but I'm gonna scatter some throughout. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna do the majority of the white at the top toward my fingertips, but I will do a few wraps lower. I want it to look like a snow-capped tree. Okay, so once I have it all wrapped like this and I'm not suffocating my fingers, <laughs> I'm gonna gently slide it off. Okay, and I'm gonna get my wire and I'm gonna slide it in between the fold. So open it up a bit here. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing and I'm sliding it right in between, like a sandwich. So the pieces of wire are like the bread and the yarn is like the filling for your sandwich. So at this point, we're gonna twist the bottom wires that are sticking out, that extend below the yarn. We're just gonna twist that so that the yarn doesn't slide down and off. Just twisting this bottom part right here. And you should have something that looks like this, okay? Kind of like a popsicle. <laughs> so at this point, your, let me squeeze this flat. Your yarn has loops on either side. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut those. So we're gonna get our scissors and we're gonna cut up the side, cutting all of the loops. Make sure you don't miss any. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Remember to cut your loops at this point and not after, which is something that I've already, I did previously. <laughs> okay, so make sure you get all of your loops cut. So you'll have something that looks like this. <laughs> not quite a tree yet. <laughs> Uh, at this point, we're going to twist, but we're going to twist the wire that's inside of the yarn. So I'm just going to grab the top of the wire and the base here right below the yarn, and I'm going to twist. And I'm just going to twist a lot. And you want to do this a lot so that the pieces of uh, yarn do not slip out. And you'll start to feel it. it, it becomes so tight that you can't you can't twist it any longer okay so when you go like that nothing falls out you know you you know you've got it all right so 
we're going to start the trimming process and this is where you have a lot of fun so you're going to get your scissors and you're going to just start trimming in the shape of a tree this is the top this is the bottom and really this part you can spend a lot of time on um you're going to think that oh yeah that, that kind of looks like a tree i can stop i can stop trimming it already keep trimming it actually the shorter you trim it uh, especially at the top, the more tree-like it looks, the prettier it becomes. Very unusual. Uh, but start trimming uh, just a little, and then a little at a time, and then continue on. So you can kind of see it's taking shape. And you think, oh, I'm done. Nope, not done. <laughs> You're going to want to keep trimming it. And really, this is the most fun and relaxing part. I could do this for a long time, but I'm not going to do that on the video. <laughs> All right, so once you're happy, I still would keep trimming this, <laughs> but once you're happy with the shape of your tree, and you can always go back and, and uh, make adjustments after. Uh, once you are happy though, you're gonna get one of your corks. See, look at all of this that I've cut off. You're going to get one of the corks here. That's going to be your base. So we're going to cut off some of the excess for your stem. Let me get out that top. And then this is where the uh, paper clip comes in. This is your tool. So if you open it up, place your cork down and kind of create a hole for the wire to go in. It makes it easier to insert the wire because the wire is thinner than this uh, paper clip. Get your tree and slide it down into the into its base. I think it's a little tall, so I'm actually going to trim the wire a smidge more. If I get a little closer, and there you have it. Oh, see, I'm going to trim him again. <laughs> I just found a few more. There you go, and there you have your little mini pine tree. And you can have him this friend. And you can go ahead and make a second one. We've given you supplies to make two. I hope you had a great time joining us making your yarn pine tree and I hope to see you in the new year. Aloha!